Hey guys, what's going on? So we're at Walnut Ridge today. It's a beautiful day. It's spring. The snow has finally stopped here in Indiana. We are taking a look at some more Cougar half-ton towables. Reason is, is our previous half-ton towable video has done really well for us. It's created a lot of really good comments, controversy, debates, discussions. So what I thought I would do is come and film two more models. One that's actually a little bigger than the previous model and one that's smaller. The smaller one is the 29RDB. And I'll have Sarah zoom in on this pin weight information. I'm gonna have to look up the weight on this model. I'll post it down below right now. So I'll put the weight down below, but let's go ahead and take a look at this model. Okay guys, so we're inside the Cougar 29 RDB. As you walk in, you have your kitchen immediately off to the side, L-shaped kitchen, got the deep well stainless steel, you got your three burner stove, we'll cover that. Um, right here off to the side, you have this nice little coat rack thing, great little feature. Come in, you have traditional dinette. I'm not sure if this model comes with an option to switch this out for chairs, but you do have the dinette in here. You have the trifold couch, which is very similar to what we have in our Cougar, or I'm sorry, our Puma. Um, our son says it sleeps very comfortably. Directly across from there, as I was saying, with the, the sink, the stove, the microwave, you have some overhead and lower head cabinet options. You have the standard refrigerator. Again, this keeps you down on weight. You have a large TV, probably 50 inch. Entertainment system. Huge storage area above. I don't know if you can see that, honey. Really large story storage area above for your video games, extra storage, whatever you want. Some storage below. And then back here, I'm going to let Sarah just get in front of me and film this. It's kind of a cool little bunkhouse area. You have your own little storage off to the side. Like a little his and hers closet for the kids. Pretty cute. You're actually able to keep an eye on the little ones while they're sleeping and you're sitting here watching TV if you want. I wish this model had a, um, a fireplace in it, but let's go back here to the back of the unit. I'll take the camera and show the bathroom. You know what, before I go into the bathroom, I should probably show the control panel right here as you come in off the door. Um, I highlighted this in the other videos, but this remote allows you to control the awning and the slides via remote, which we have found would be really nice if you're pulling up, you need to see how far you can pull your slides out, or you go get groceries, you come back, it's raining, you can roll your, uh, your awning out. So go here in the bathroom. I like this style sink where it actually comes out. Medicine cabinet. Nice big shower with the sit down seat. That would have to be replaced with the Oxygenics. This shower is very similar to our shower and our Puma, which we like. Standard toilet, place to put your towels. This, this bathroom uh, feels very, very, very much like our Puma. Sarah, you'll have to come check this out. It looks very much like our Puma. Coming back to the bedroom, queen bed, his and hers closets on each side with storage up above. You do have small storage areas down below, and then you have a nice size closet area on each side, or uh, on the side. Place to mount your TV right here, so mom and dad can watch TV in the bedroom. Okay, I'm gonna give the camera back to Sarah. We're gonna go outside now. So here's the outside of that unit. Um, underneath, just like with most, you have uh, your access to your pass-through storage. But I can show you that better from right here. So you have a massive area for storage under here. It's not pass-through straight across, but you do have access, at, access to it from the front or the side. Get the large awning. 
careful with these steps, honey. Outdoor speakers, vent, refrigerator vent, outdoor shower. We found this is absolutely great for washing the dogs off when they come back from walking on the trails and they're muddy. This one actually comes with a small outdoor kitchen. You have stove, you have a place for some storage and plenty of room for beer. They've got that pushed over right now, but plenty of room for beer or soft drinks. Ladder, bike rack. Looks like this is locked. Yeah, this is locked. This is additional pass-through storage that goes under those bunks that you saw from the inside. Fresh water connection. Your slides on this side of the unit. It's your water heater. Here's all of your connections. So I've talked about this in a lot of the other ones. I love this. You have battery disconnect, which is fantastic, and ours actually have to disconnect it. You have your water heater bypass, winterization, makes everything easy. You can come here and just basically do everything. Um, and again, I love this because you run all of your cords and hoses through here. You can close this. This is protected from the elements, and it just makes it look nicer and more tidy. And I'm betting this is your propane. Yep. So there you have it. There's two more Cougar half ton towables. As you can see behind me, I think you can see behind me, there's a lot more to choose from this way, a lot more to choose from this way. We're running a little short on time today, so we're just gonna cover those two. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Please leave a comment, a question, a suggestion. Always love to hear from you guys, and I think you'll see that we respond. And if there's a unit that you're wanting to see, if they've got it out here, let us know. We'll come over here, we'll take a look at it. And as always, thank you.